What is up, everybody? Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Two Chains, Wayne, and Benny the Butcher dropped a visual for Oprah and Gail. Well, it's actually a music video uh, for Oprah and Gail. So we're going to just jump right into this, see what this is about. We ha I've actually heard the song already, and it's really dope. I just want to see a visual. Sometimes it could take away from a song or add to it. We're going to find out right now. Here we go. Oprah and Gail. Turn this up. That sample is crazy. Check up on luggage, women in the cover. I left Mark Bowser with a sculpture. You listen to the lyrical note, chuck, chuck, let them fuck. Vocals warmed up, beyond four tough. I kept my line cut, it's felon conduct. I got my arm out the window of an arm truck. It's teams to union when you hear the trucks roll up. Jimmy Fallon. Cleveland Avenue made plays at the Kroger. Came up on cold cuts, so I got a hole in it. Ain't got a roll in it. The sister citation came with a pole in it. The color in so big and need a stove in it. Now that's deep, I just dove in it. The closet came with garage doors. The gold yard is on all fours. I do the shit for all cause. I did this shit in tall for They said I'm wrong for it. I'm so far, I looked at and said, get on for it. It's the man, it's the myth. Let me just say, too, this album is very, very solid. It has a little bit of a range for every occasion but it has a lot of this vibe a lot of soul in it a lot of sampling in it it is a very very solid album um but let's continue i'm gonna explain too i'm gonna explain too i know i'm pausing a lot but i'm definitely gonna be explaining why that is it has a lot to do with wayne but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tackle that, trust me. Picks motivated by more, that mean I want more of this, I want more jury, more cars, I want more cribs. What you expect from a kid that grew up with his stomach touching his rib? Echoes coming from my fridge. Now, Papa was a rolling stone, I thought you knew that. Don't smoke no sick, but I shoot that. Visual is crazy. Too fat. I mean, I like to say it around. Hey, shout out to Wayne for even still, still representing Colorado with Deion Sanders down there, or, or at least over there. Um, you just love to see it, man, the subtleness of it. Uh, oh, he got a Colorado hat, too. I didn't even realize it. But just the subtleness of that, like, we got the Balenciaga, we got the mansions, we got all the fancy, luxurious stuff, but they still kind of pay homage to, you know, the underdog. I think they're going to be a beast next year. They just need that uh, that defense needs to come through that portal. But continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta go back a little bit. You start snapping. 
That's crazy. And shout out to the Eddie Van Halen uh, guitar too. There's a little spotlight on that. Is that Dark Low? I'm trying to figure out if that's Dark Low. You guys let me know in the comments. The one, uh, the dude in the background. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I like, see, I like this too because so far it's not showing that, you know, it seems like obviously one was in Miami. It looks like more like a Miami vibe. This is like more so New York. But the fact that, let's just see if they're all together at one point. Let's just continue. Oh, that's to tell you the truth, I think. Rest in peace to DJ Shea too. That was like I would say probably like my closest connection to that whole Griselda movement, especially back in like twenty nineteen, early twenty twenty. Um, you know, I will always send him like some of the guitar covers that I did and he was like filling a lot of them. So shout out to him and rest in peace. Um, you kind of see that in the t-shirt where it says DJ Shea, but let's continue. Back home, one of the narcos, semi-autos, Dodge fans like New York City potholes, yeah. The OG stick, that is funny. Money made me more hungry because majority wait till they chubby and they get comfy. Nah, get that first taste and you learn to appreciate all the risk you gotta take to turn a four to a rape. I'm checking in on my hub like a hope all is well. I'm still close to my scale, be like Oprah and Gail. <laughs> That's dope. Yep, so they weren't even together and still made this happen. That black and white really seals it for me. I don't know why. So I would say, I would say the, uh, so two chains look like he might have been in Atlanta. I'm just taking a wild guess. Wayne was in Miami. Benny was in New York. Um, the only time that Oprah and Gil is mentioned is by Benny Butcher, by Benny the Butcher, which is, I, I mean, it's just, I like when songs like, you know, you got to kind of get all the way to the end until they like say the title or sometimes it could be so obvious, like what they're singing around or rapping around um, is the the meaning of the title. So this is really dope. Um What makes this album really, really good, and you can actually hear the differences on some of these songs versus other songs on the album, is that this really feels like Wayne came in feature ready. It seems like he works better with multiple people on the track, at least one more person on the track, so he almost has a competition. If he's by himself, we already know he's going to come with those punchlines, but sometimes they're not as, like, it seems like like on every single song that they're on together that he was trying to outdo 2 chains or even himself. Like, it just seems like it just gives them that extra motivation. Um, and to me, of course, 2 chains is always going to come with that vibe as well um, that he does. Uh, but... Wayne's feature mentality, because this is a joint album, um, Wayne's feature mentality is really what makes this album. Um, 
I'm telling you guys, you guys should really check it out if you haven't. Um, and then, obviously, I mean, I think we could kind of... We, we make this mistake too many times. And I'm not saying that nothing is um, wrong or anything like that. But Wayne does look visibly different. Um, and... Um, but I think... We again, like we've done this too many times, so um, you know, I, I, I do uh, hope and pray that he's doing good and well. He do, he looks like it, he, he doesn't look sicker per se or anything like that, he just looks different. And um, of course, we made that mistake as far as the culture, not anybody specifically, just the culture. So, me. Uh, everybody included in this culture made that huge mistake with Chad, uh, Chadwick Boseman. He was going through what he was going through, and people just made a huge joke out of it. And, and then, you know, what happened, you know, maybe a year later or something like that, if that um, happened, rest in peace to Chadwick. But so we, you just never know what people are going through, and it's just really good to give them their flowers now. So with that being said, Wayne is just uh, one of the greatest rappers, man, of all time. So I'm just giving him his flowers. Um, like I said, I'm not like this is not to put anything on him per se, because I have no idea, nor do I really care. Like I, he's an artist and I appreciate him as an artist. Um, I mean, of course, I hope everything is well, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. I feel like I'm going in circles at this point, but Shout out to Wayne as being one of the most influential and greatest rappers of all time. That 07 run was one of the craziest runs I've ever seen in my life. And and we're talking about we're talking about a time where I was just now starting to listen to um Kanye West, the graduation album. That was the first Kanye West album I ever listened to. So we started. I started listening to Graduation, and um, and then of course the Carter Three. To me, people always say Carter Two, but Carter Three for me changed. It it, it changed the way rap was for me. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to really think of what I thought up until that point. Uh, so okay, so the per the best way I can really explain this is just being a being a eighth grader, right? Being a being an eighth grader, being a eighth grader and eighth grader. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, um, and experiencing Wayne and just uh, the lollipop was catchy. Like so, as a kid, I feel like I was definitely more into. The melodic sound and i think i've made this you know similar videos to this before around this time when the car three came out um about my experience when that came out but uh so i was definitely into that lollipop and then of course when kanye came in with the remix i'm like this is just crazy like my cousin um we went to atlanta to, to visit my uncle and he was like you should listen to this, like, and we listened to Lollipop for the first time, and that was, like, the soundtrack to our Atlanta, uh, that, that was the soundtrack to our Atlanta trip, and I was in the eighth grade at that time, <laughs> but, and then, but just to keep going with the features, like, a, like a two-year run of straight killing features, I mean, you gotta give it up to this guy, man. You gotta give him his props. You gotta give him his just due. Um, I first found out about Two Chains was Duffel Bad Boy, which M16, me and him are really good friends. But he produced the uh, album. I'm sorry, uh, the song. And I, let me take that back. We are very, very um, uh, good acquaintances. I, I don't talk to him every day. I don't want to make it seem as though we do but um but we're really cool and we do send each other uh different beats and and, and stuff like that we do actively do that but um that was very interesting too because that was the first time that i heard about two chains um titty boy at the time and it was uh 
Wayne again with the with the actual the singing the that was so different from from that time like Kanye kind of Kanye actually wasn't singing at that time I mean he did Hey Mama like that was the more um, specific you know song along those lines as as far as melodically so Wayne really had it just hands down rapping wise. Um, melody wise and he was like really going off of that um on that song like I ain't never read from it. it's so crazy like how much uh inspiration um like you look almost 20 years later if not more but at this point I don't even remember what year that came out but you look at, I think it was 06 maybe I don't know but you just look at everything that Wayne has inspired now um, and it's, it's, it's crazy. It's just really, really crazy. in the fact that he's still rapping on this caliber, just got to give it up to him, man. So that's just my special, you know, moment that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. This is the only channel where you're going to be getting videos like this, unboxings, guitar lessons, guitar covers, and so much more. And share with me you all's special story. Like, when was the first time you heard about Wayne? I want to see it in the comments. I want to see what, how old you guys were and what song it was that made you feel like, okay, this dude is, like, different from what we were hearing at the time. You guys let me know in the comments. Until next time.